Now, so, parenting, full-time job in itself. Um, so here's the situation. Uh, six children, you're writing a book, you're going on a tour, you're doing all of that stuff. That is a lot. Have you got any time to think? Do you think? Well, what do, you, what do they say? If you want something done, ask a busy ask person. Ask a busy person, Isn't that yeah. that what they say? Um, well, let's ask one. Comedian and television producer Ashley Blake, uh, Blaker, who's written a memoir about the challenges and rewards of raising a family that doesn't fit into society's normal defi definition of normal. Is that, that fair to say? That's absolutely... That's, the book's called Normal Schmormal, because who wants to be normal anyway? I, I, I think... Uh, we, so we have six children. We have three children with a diagnosis of special educational needs. And while the family may not be what society would call, quotes normal, I wouldn't want it any other way because our children with special needs make our family what it is. Give, uh, us, a little, uh, give us a little portrait of uh, what it's like in your household of a morning. You know, you say not normal. What's, what's, what's going on? No, what's... Morning, mornings are particularly chaotic, for yep. sure. Morning routines, getting everyone out of the house. Um, yes, because we've got... Uh, in our house, we have autism, ADHD, Down syndrome, speech and language disorders, heart defects, hearing loss, mobility issues, gastroenterological problems. You know you've got a lot going on when Great Ormond Street gives you your own parking space. And no, this is, really? I mean, this is the family. We can see the picture here. This is, this is everyone. Well, there are five of them. Oh, no, there's no, the there's six. six. I, there's just, I just saw one peeking out Bailey's from behind your left side. From my side there. Um, but, yes, I mean, so, basically, I wanted to write... I wanted to write the book that I wish I'd read 16 years ago because we are... It's very nerve-wracking when you discover my eldest son was diagnosed with autism 16 years ago. And you, you, I read around the subject, it's very nerve-wracking, it's very worrying. You worry about the future. But actually, I've come now with 20 years nearly of lived experience to appreciate that there's so much to enjoy in our children that they add so much to our family, there's so much positivity that I want to also, share. Also, society's moved on, you would hope, so in so terms of just being tolerant of people who don't fit into that normal... I think we're definitely getting better, and yeah. certainly with adults. Yes. Um, I think less so with children. I think we're still very prone to seeing a child having a meltdown on the bus, on the train. And they're just Super annoying and undisciplined and their parents we should bring the them in We think the parents should be doing better, yeah. for sure. Um, but I think that we, that's, we've got a long way to go, I, I still think, with children. So how do you take this on tour? And have you passed all the material by your children? The children, the children are involved. I mean, I'd have loved them to have been on the couch today, but... And they, we love chaos they, they, on the they, sofa. They, yes, I think, unfortunately, <laughs> with my teenagers, you'd have had to bleep so much of what they did. <laughs> OK. It would have sounded like you were interviewing R2-D2. I, <laughs> I really I don't think it's a good idea. Um, but... Um, Yes, yeah, so I've written the book, and now we're touring uh, a stand-up version, just me on stage. And what does what, what's the message? Kind of the when message... people come to see you and say, well, "I'm a bit curious about this guy." Well, the How message is, this... is is really one of acceptance and positivity. And so many parents have been in touch saying that the book spoke to them so much um, as, as parents of children with special needs. I actually don't use the, the term special needs in mainstream, what have you. I, I call the children zappers and cold plays. So the mainstream children are like Coldplay. Perfectly good, but rather boring. Like Keir Starmer. But the, the, the special needs children are more like... They're like avant-garde musicians, like Frank Zappa. They're kind of rebellious, alternative, sometimes unspeakably bad, but they don't care. They just do their own thing. I will notice how we both stayed it. very quiet. Very quiet. Yeah. No opinion, no <laughs> expression. Put you on the spot. No you're very, very, very good. You'd be very good at poker, <laughs> Charlie. Yeah. Uh, can Absolutely. I just say, that you obviously embrace the kind of... I'm going to call it responsibility. If you, if you go, uh, as you have, so public with the story, mm. and you're doing a tour, and you're mm. inviting people to share the experience, you were saying people get in touch. That almost becomes a responsibility, because they, you know, they're going to they're gonna share their stories with you as well, yes. aren't they? I mean, that must be lovely... And a little responsibility it is, at the same it time. Is. Yeah, well, also, I had somebody messaged on Instagram, actually, the other day, who wanted some quite detailed advice about their child and getting a statement at school and how to, um, how to, how to deal with the school and what have you. And I did feel a, a real weight of responsibility um, to give good advice. Um, and uh, luckily, I do, I do have some other people to ask. Okay, so you well, pass that one, on. that one on and then come back and pass it off as myself. Yeah. But, uh, yes, no, for sure, there, there is a big responsibility. But it's so lovely, it really is, genuinely, to... Um, when I did the show in Edinburgh as well, so many 
people who came would, would wait afterwards to, to want to have a tell me about their children and similarities. And it's, it's, it is a really lovely thing, actually. Um, is the tour going to feel like a little bit of a holiday? It, it's, it's why I'm here as well. I mean, <laughs> I, to come up to <laughs> Salford, to, uh, it's great. I mean, even uh, getting up early in the morning to do this, this is, <laughs> this is in, in, yeah, it's a, it's a vacation. It's lovely. Um, oh. I think the tour, so it sounds funny, um, but it sounds important as well. So it's a good mix, hey? I'm kind of tempted, despite what you say, that at some point you should bring the whole crowd in. Yes, I, yes. I will I will keep you to that. Ashley we'll Blaker, good <laughs> luck. Know. Thank you. Normal and schmormal. Normal schmormal. Schmormal. It starts normal next month, the tour. Yeah. Normal schmormal, schmormal, the book yeah. and the tour, yeah.